How to make a gamepad. Attach two thumbsticks, two triggers, and ten rubber buttons to a printed circuit board. Place the board between the upper and lower plastic shells and fix with screws. The result? A flat, compact, one-size-fits-all solution for gamers. A gamepad can be much more. And that's why I developed the Grifter. You can pair it with the mouse and you can play PC style but without the need to sit at a desk. You can use it just like a regular console controller. The ergonomic principle of a standard gamepad is fingers and thumbs must be arranged around the flat plane of the main PCB. Our solution is to bring the gamepad components to the fingers and thumbs. Triggers, buttons and joysticks are placed to suit the ergonomics of the human hand. This approach costs a little more in the short term, but the result is better gameplay. Classic console gaming is faster with the Grifter because the D-pad and A, B, X, Y buttons are precise mechanical components. Mechanical switches can be pushed way faster than bouncy rubber switches. Just ask any gamer with a mechanical keyboard. The hand grip format allows room for eight extra buttons, four per side. The shoulder buttons are capacitive touch, placed right behind the back of your trigger finger. The Grifter is engineered from the ground up to be familiar, intuitive and work with all the games you play on PC and PS3. And with the Zim adapter, you can play with Xbox or PlayStation 4. The Grifter's ergonomics are not compromised by styling or the manufacturing process. And the grips are adjustable because sometimes one size doesn't fit all. To transform the Grifter into a gesture gaming device, just add on the infrared module. Infrared point tracking has high resolution and low latency, and the high-spec LEDs work even in the sunniest of rooms. The module has three LEDs, enabling the camera to track six degrees of movement. The infrared module is simplicity itself. Inside are just three LEDs and a rechargeable battery. It will be supplied in packs of two with a charger, so you can always finish the game. VR gaming is going to be huge, but the input methods are patchy. Combining a VR headset with a keyboard isn't a good mix. A grifter unit, when configured as a keyboard, is intuitive and needs no side contact, leaving the remaining hand free to use an infrared module or a mouse, making it the ideal partner for VR gaming. And this is the magnetic bridge module. With the minimum of development of the free track code, we can create a device that can switch seamlessly between driving, flying and shooting all with the same device. Under development are a range of add-on modules. A dual connection to Android sets up in seconds. The left unit uses 2.4 GHz and the right Bluetooth enabling both units to work as one. The telescopic unit is one such upgrade. Imagine your next long haul flight or bus journey. You could be looking at your smartphone at eye level. You could watch, play or read for hours on end without straining your neck. We've been working with a manufacturing partner in East Asia for the last 18 months. The tooling and the electronic components for the left hand unit are ready for volume production. And now we need your help, the Kickstarter community. With your help, we can create the right-hand module and the connector module to create a truly ergonomic gamepad. For our backers, we've put together a great range of early bird packages and special editions. More gameplay videos will be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching.